Hey guys, it is Shannon and it is Wednesday morning. So we are starting off another what sold video for you guys. And I get to start with a really exciting first what sold because it's for a viewer. So Sasha, beautiful name by the way, bought a lot of six different items from us. So two of the things are these Shopkins Little Secrets or Lil Secrets and two of the cutest uh, figural bag clips. These are from the Sanrio collection. I forget what the name of it was, but we have, who is this? We have Pochaco. Is that his name? Pochaco and Cinema Roll. Yeah. And then two sweet little tiny world swall swallest? world's smallest My Little Pony figures. I love these. These are adorable. So this order came to $47.70 plus shipping. So thank you very much, Sasha. We appreciate the support. Hopefully you love these items when you get them. You picked out some really good things. I like these. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Sasha. Yeah. Sasha said, I'm crazy and that you're the voice of reason. Ah. Actually, she said, I'm hilarious. Well, you are hilarious and crazy yeah. and mostly I'm the voice of reason, but sometimes I can get Paul into trouble. So, but usually he's the one getting me into trouble. <laughs> okay. Next order is for, uh, for my little pony, little small figures. We have a kitty, a little hippo, a turtle, and a bunny. Super cute. These little My Little Pony figures. I just lost it. I'll find it. <laughs> Those sold for $19.80. And then last one for right now is going to be another Afmau Me Meow. This is going to be Galaxy Cat from the newest series. Cute little plush that has a little heart right there. I like it. This one sold for $22.95 plus shipping. Here I am, the hilarious one. <laughs> From out and behind the camera. Wearing a really cool shirt. Oh, thank you. This, World of Warcraft. I, I've had this shirt for a long time. This is the paladin figure. The yep. paladin class from World of Warcraft. Paul and I used to play that. We did. All right. Um, Lady J from G.I. Joe. I have lots and lots of these. You will see a different figure in a few minutes. I only have a couple I've left. So <laughs> this was $16.99, free shipping. This is a money loser. Ah, uh, uh, like our last video or two videos yes. ago that went up. <laughs> yeah, to balance it out though, I have a money maker. So I have the Merlin Tarot. This is a vintage book on the Merlin Tarot. I also have the full deck of cards here. I ended up purchasing these at a used bookstore. The deck of cards is brand new. This was obviously owned by a collector. Um, and I purchased this for $5.99. And we sold it for thirty-four ninety-five. Ooh, with nice free one! Shipping. Good so, job. Um, so this, this is actually a really good deal for the person who bought it. Uh, these only last; this, these lasted less than a full day since I listed these online. Um, this sold pretty much immediately. But this is a rare tarot deck and book, so people who collect, um, you know, they can't find it. So, good deal for them. Next up, my most expensive item today is this is a secret layer from Magic the Gathering. Uh, factory sealed. This is a commander deck. This is the angels. They're just like us, but cooler and with wings. This sold for $249.95 free shipping. And this is going to a military person. So oh, nice. We're just going to show it is completely sealed with yep. a holographic seal. Yep. So I hope you going. enjoy your angel deck. I knew he wanted to do that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, shout out to all our military personnel. That's Thank right. you for your service. And we hope you, whoever it is that bought this deck, really likes it. Yeah, it's got cool cards in it. I, I've noticed when I go back and edit these videos, I have a really bad habit of starting every single one of my segments saying, so the next thing we have, I've edited some of that out. But anyway, I'm trying to get better. We'll see. So... <laughs> <laughs> So the next thing, <laughs> okay, we have a Disney Dorables. This is Nala. So you see us saw lots of Dorables figures. She was $4.95. I'm going to stop saying plus shipping with everything, hopefully, because almost everything I share with you guys is going to be plus shipping. Everything I have is plus shipping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm proud of Shannon and her plus shipping. Paul just has a thing because I'm just going to give you, now we're going to go down the story road. <laughs> now we're going to have a segment called Shannon's Rants. <laughs> there are three of us that list for eBay. One of our sons works for us and lists stuff. So when you go in the scheme of things, I'm like 
what would you call it prime primo like i'm i list high I, I like listing things very high i don't mind waiting for them to sell i'm not gonna go in and undercut the market i'm gonna you know keep things where they are our son is kind of in the middle of paul and i although he tends to be a little bit on the the higher side too paul's like sell it cheap and get it out of here and so he, paul's a market tanker <laughs> <laughs> So that's, make, make fun of me about my shipping all you want, market tanker. That that's that's I'm gonna get a t-shirt that says that market tanker. Um, <laughs> that could be your merch, market tanker. Yeah, so my Merlin Tarot deck would fit right into that because people have sold those in mm. infrequently for a lot more money and in a lot worse condition. For how much money? Like forty nine ninety five. And what did you sell it for? Thirty five. Thirty four. $35. Yeah, so yours should have been listed at like 50 or 55 with best offer no. and waited. Nope. If you sold it in less than 24 hours, you priced too cheap. Nope. I gave my buyer a good deal. Too cheap. <laughs> anyway, market tanker. Okay, so no plus shipping for me. My stuff's going to have shipping. We have a uh, little woodsies, little bubblehead raccoon here, super cute. That was a $4.95. And then we had a big order. This, do you remember how many, was it like 12? 13, 13. 13. <clears throat> Sorry guys, these are kitty in my pocket. Um, it's a blind bag toy line that is quite a few years old. Like you can't buy it anymore um, in stores. Uh, we sold a whole lot to our buyer for $90 and 35 cents. So that was a great order. This person came back and has now purchased a second time from us. So um, really great order and we're thankful for that sale. My turn again. So I have, so I only had three of these. I sold one the other day. The other two are shipping out to one buyer. Uh, these are Tops Baseball 2021 tins. Um, these sold for $35.90 free shipping. This is my Stephen King book. So this, you haven't seen the video yet, but Shannon and I went to Goodwill. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, we, we sourced. <laughs> and um, and I, I ended up buying a few books. This was a book that I bought at Goodwill. So this one was uh, 99 cents plus tax. Um, this sold for $9.95 free shipping. That might sound like a huge spread. Basically what that means is net to Shannon and I. It's about two dollars and twenty-five cents after fees and shipping, so it's like one tenth of a burrito. Um, <laughs> that's how we measure things around here now. This is how you measure things. Um, okay, so so that was that. But anyway, um, from that goodwill purchase, I ended up selling another book, mm -hmm. like pretty much immediately. Um, so now this one is sold. I feel like I sold one other thing from that. I have to think about that. But anyway, it was a good day. Well. What Paul's trying to do here is uh, make to make good reason for why we should go back to Goodwill. Because look how fast he sold stuff. I was thinking that. He, he's Maybe trying. Friday, Friday yeah. morning. <laughs> anyway, um, so the next thing I don't have here, it's in storage, and it's a Hot Wheel, a special edition Hot Wheel car. Um, that sold for thirteen ninety five, and then plus shipping, charge shipping on top of that. Oh. So I got some shipping on that one. Nice. <laughs> yeah. That was another one. Um, I ended up buying a, a whole bunch of, of the same Hot Wheels. I sold out, sold out all my other ones. But for whatever reason, this particular one, I think it's a Corvette. It just hasn't sold as well. Um, I still have like 20-some of them. Um, and we're basically getting our money back. Actually, we're making about a dollar profit on each one. So another, so this book plus that equals 25% of a burrito. <laughs> so this can go on mistakes were made monday not really i mean it, you know things things can go can go a lot of different ways um yeah it's okay I'm good right to know yeah. well i do want to point out right over there we have oh paul's gonna grab one we saw a comment somebody said they would love to have that marvel pride lounge fly backpack Let's see if he can get one nope they're all coming now okay so I just figured I would mention it. You guys are really good at seeing things in the background. So what's funny is this. This should have appeared in the random stuff I bought video because this was purchased, purchased at the exact same time at the Disney store in Myrtle Beach as the other stuff. I just happened to already have this listed. Um, so in the random stuff we bought video, that stuff still has yet to be listed. 
one of it. These got listed, and so they sat down here on the shelf and weren't in that video. So take that for whatever you will. Um, but these are listed, and they're actually listed for less than retail price was. So if you miss these in Disney parks, you can get them from us now for even less money. It's like you're saving money. Yeah. I do want to point out, turn around behind you, grab like that child backpack or no, but keep that one too. One? Just in case people are watching, yeah. I didn't realize this. Hold the two up next to each other. That Marvel Pride one is really big compared yeah. to the normal size ones. I like that a lot. Yeah. So but that's good to know down. because so generally they're this size. If you sit it on top of the Stephen King book, they're the same size. Ah, and there you go. Oh, he's getting a snack bag. Oh, yeah, the Marvel Pride backpack is significantly bigger. Yeah. Check well, that out. I, it wasn't just the child one. This, The child and this one right here, these are the standard size bags. Well, that Marvel Pride one is definitely a lot bigger. Sure is. See, he didn't. I didn't know that. Shannon knows her lounge fly backpacks. Yes, Shannon does. Because Shannon collects them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next up. Oh, I said it again. No, instead of saying so, I said okay. Uh, next thing we sold is a Kid Robot. Was this Kid Robot? Bats Maroon? Who made this? It looks like Tokidoki. Tokidoki Batsmaru. I think it is a Tokidoki. It's super cool. He's neon. Awesome. 1995. We also sold a <laughs> Beauty and the Beast Wishables. Um, this is a blind bag. It's completely sealed. These are the things that we buy tons of to open on our other channels. Um, we bought too many tons of these, which is why we're trying to sell a few off to recoup some of the money we spent. This sold for $14.95, which is less than they ended up costing or right around the same price by the time they ended this line. $14.95. And then we sold two of the same little Coco Surprise Glitter Kitties to a buyer. They paid $9.90 for these. The last stuff for me is going to be a Yokai watch for $3.50 plus shipping. Uh, that was part of the Toys R Us buy. Plus shipping. Back to the free shipping. This is a Vera Bradley, um, this is like a lanyard ID case kind of thing. This was from the Star Wars Far, Far Away collection. This was an awesome one. Has Boba Fett very prominently featured right there Ooh, in the back. Oh, two little Ewoks. Boba Fett. And Ewoks. Boba Fett. Uh, this was $49.95 uh, free shipping. We have... This is the... We, we own currently three Scarlets, but this one's sold and now we're down to two. Unless he finds more. Unless I find more. But I don't think I'm going to find more. So uh, down to two Scarlets from G.I. Joe Classified. This is a variant paint edition, $24.95, free shipping. And my last item is a little pin of Mrs. Potts and Chip from Beauty and the Beast. This is a lounge fly, yeah, lounge fly pin. And this was $14.95 plus shipping. Before I show you my last two things, I did just want to point something out when I put the screenshots up in the video in case you see a discrepancy on how many items are still available or price that's because when I go back to do the videos if we've sold more like let's say Scarlet but the phones we're selling stuff yay that's actually what we do every time the phone cha-chings Paul and I go yay every single time anyway it never gets old um if something sold before I pull the screenshot for the video, it's gonna show the new available quantity. And on some of Paul's Lego sets, he's adjusted between whether it was free shipping, now it's not. It's gonna show you whatever the current thing is on eBay. So um, in case, you know, those quantities are off and stuff, that's what's going on with that. Yeah, the price of gingerbread houses has gone up. It has. Also, shipping is another thing. When I do the screenshots, eBay will only show the shipping as if I was shipping it to myself or somebody in my same zip uh. code. So if we ship something, let's say to California and Paul has charged, it might say $9 shipping on the screenshot, but that person might have actually paid like $20 shipping because of how far away they are. So anyway, just little things that eBay does. So let's finish it off. I said so again, Rah! Cruella de Vil, $4.95. And then we had an order of two more, well, these are puppy in my pockets, I think, and then two Barbie pets. These sold for $18.80.
So I think that's going to wrap it up for today. We'll share more sales tomorrow. Hey everybody. So here we are on Thursday, early afternoon. We're getting ready to ship out. We have 27 orders going out today. So we're going to show you most of them. I get to start us off. We have a gingerbread house. One of our favorites right there. Um, so the price of these went up. This is now $154.95 free shipping. And as we get closer to Christmas, the price is going to keep on climbing. Assuming I still have some. Um, we sold a Harley Quinn from the Toys R Us collection channel to a screen grab. I don't have that here. Um, that sold on auction for $10.50, and that's going to be a damaged box one. Um, so it's $10.50 plus shipping. And then I also sold one of these. This is a Magic the Gathering Commander deck. This is the Elven Empire deck from the Kaldheim uh, rotation. This sold for $69.95, free shipping. And um, I purchased this for $21 um, back when it was, you know, sitting on store shelves. So, you know, quite a, quite a markup from when it was in circulation. But since it's retired, it has gone up very nicely in value. Thing I am going to share with you is Miss Clarabelle Cow here. She's a little PVC figure from the Disney store. She sold for $9.95 and she's really cool. I like her pink picnic basket. I think it's a picnic basket. It's very bright. I like it. She's awesome. So, woo! Almost dropped it. $9.95. Next, we sold one of the coolest figures ever. Um, is this one? It is a Pop Mart from yes. the Lord of the Rings series. I couldn't remember uh, for sure. Personally, I think we undersold this. I didn't list it, so I can say that Paul didn't list it either. He's like the coolest figure ever. He sold for $29.95. I feel like he should be so much more because he's amazing. Oh, did I say this is Sauron <laughs> from Lord of the Rings? Um, just an amazing figure. This is a personal favorite of mine. So I hope the buyer enjoys it because it's awesome. Okay, and then the last thing for my little segment here is gonna be this pack of yarn. So this is a homespun uh, Lion Brand yarn. It's three skeins. They're all in their uh, original packaging. So all going to be like the same lot and die number, which I know is important to crafters. Um, this just makes me think of a viewer. I'm just going to call you out again. Recently read your comment, Dina. She collects yarn. Not this yarn. This isn't going to her, but it just made me think of you. Anyway, um, we bought this at the thrift store and I forget what we paid. Do you remember? $3.99. Sounds right. Yeah, I think it was $3.99 or $4.99, something like that. But this just sold for $29.99 plus shipping. And the shipping is a little bit more expensive because there's some weight to this yarn. But I hope the uh, person that gets it loves it. It's actually a beautiful yarn. All right. I sold a Porsche. <laughs> vroom. So $34.95 free shipping. You need to make it go vroom the other way because vroom. that's that's the direction of the car on the box. It's going in reverse. Oh, Vroom. that's very talented. Your car will go. <laughs> yeah, my my car is a hybrid, <laughs> and our neighbor said it sounds like uh, a spaceship. A spaceship because yeah. when it's in reverse, it makes this weird sound. <laughs> I have a plain cardboard box. This is a Starbucks Walt Disney World fiftieth uh, anniversary tumbler. I think the pink one, the pink geometric one, is really pretty. Um, this sold for thirty four ninety five plus shipping and good job paul <laughs> i sold a blu-ray collection of blade runner this is the five disc collector's edition um this sold for 22.95 free shipping and um just a quick quick word about uh blu-rays and dvds and stuff that i sell so a lot of them i end up buying in like big collections and you know um, I, I probably overpay, to be honest, um, but I like I like kind of fooling with them going going through DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff. Um, I pay approximately a dollar, dollar fifty per Blu-ray um, in, a, in a in a big collection, and there's always going to be stuff like this in those kind of collections um, if they haven't been sorted through. So like this sold for twenty two ninety five. And I'm into it for like a dollar fifty. But then, like a lot of the a lot of the Blu-rays and DVDs that I sell for like eight dollars free shipping, that I say I only make like two dollars on, or I only make two dollars total on, um, that that's like where the bulk comes from from those collections. So it's fun to do, um, but it's but it's not for everybody. <laughs> Next order is going to be a big one. It's for seven different items. 
Um, you're going to see on the screen, we have a Pop Mart Shake figure here, a Pop Mart Mother Gothel figure, a Tsum Tsum, uh, Flynn Rider, and Maximus, which is so cute. Another Flynn Rider, a little adorable, a Mother Gothel pin, and then we have a Rapunzel and Pascal pin set. They also bought a Sadness, I think it was Tsum Tsum plush, which that's in storage, so you'll just see the screenshot. That order went for $115.65, so that was a great order. We love when big orders like that go out. Um, next up, we sold a little Tokidoki Jelly Squish figure. It's not a squishy, that's just his name. Paul called him a squish. Is his name Jelly Squish? Jelly Squish. Okay. Yep. Jelly Squish, it's a little jellyfish, it's amazing. There's a little tiny jellyfish inside its head. Uh, this video <laughs> is live on PS Toy Reviews if you wanna see it when we open these up, but they're really awesome. He sold for 20, no, where did he sell for? I'm four. trying to find him. No, $29.95 for him. So good job, little guy. And then we have a little bulldog puppy in my pocket figure. It is so adorable. Like it's the cutest little, it's probably the cutest puppy in my pocket. $6.95 plus shipping on that one. More Blu-ray slash DVD. So these are two 4K Ultra Blu-ray. I have no idea what the difference is. Um, to tell you, the truth, if our son was down here, he could tell us all the difference. I don't know that I can really tell the difference in watching. There is a the difference quality. in playability, though. You can only yes. play a 4K on a 4K player. So yes. don't buy that unless you have a 4K player. Right. So these are pre-owned Batman Begins and The Dark Knight Rises. If I had The Dark Knight, it would be the complete set. Um, but those two sold for $23.95 free shipping. Um, so that was pretty cool. That, that was actually from the same lot that Blade Runner came from. I have a Blue Beetle um, monogram bag clip. This video is not yet up, but this figure sold for $9.95. And a little Shopkin from Season 5, a cup of cocoa. <laughs> Everybody needs a cup of cocoa. How much yeah. did he sell for? Oh, he sold for two ninety five plus shipping. So what's funny is I'm actually I'm doing the little sipping thing because I've actually been looking at a lot of pictures of people dressing up as the uh, Alice in Wonderland Tea Party at Disney World. So I'm in the mood to sip cocoa. The next thing I have to share is in storage, which Paul will get on the way to the post office. I don't have it right here, but it's a Jimbery children's shirt. It's a really cute shirt. We actually bought this from what Paul and I affectionately, seriously affectionately refer to as the hoarder garage sale. So two years ago, I think it was, we stumbled upon a garage sale that they, it was a church group that they had helped out a member who was a hoarder, but a hoarder of all new with tag, brand new items, but the house was just stuff. So they had so many garage sales. Anyway, we bought a ton of stuff. It was so much fun. It was amazing. I would love to go back, but I'm slightly terrified because all these church people running the sale were talking about, oh, this poor lady, she was such a hoarder. And I'm like, this looks like Paul's in my house. <laughs> now, yeah, back then it didn't. Back then it didn't, but now if somebody wanted to help us out, they'd be like, yeah, these poor, these poor hoarders. Anyway, the shirt came from there. I only paid a dollar for it because at this sale they were selling almost everything for a dollar, especially because I think my son and I went the first time, or our son and I, and um, we bought almost 200 items, and they're like, just a dollar each, and he got some amazing like retired video games that sell for several hundred dollars each now we didn't know it at the time i yeah. probably would have offered them more money back then but they were like please just take the stuff anyway you probably didn't want to know all that I paid a dollar for this shirt and we sold it for 12.99 plus shipping paul's laughing at me behind the camera seriously i have a little bit of stress thinking back about that poor lady and all her good stuff i do too <laughs> because they said that she wanted to be an ebay seller so she was collecting all this stuff to sell and just never did i'm like oh no i'm looking around and there are church groups out there that are <laughs> rubbing their hands together going wait till we get our hands on you guys i know it hits a little close to home <laughs> yeah. i pray for that lady often <laughs> Anyway, we're moving on to a viewer sale. <laughs> 
So from something kind of sad to something really what a segue. awesome. <laughs> so Patrick, uh, you were at least that's the name on the order it's going to. So um, I didn't have another name. Hopefully it is Patrick. Um, but a Drax wishable. So a Disney wishable. He's really cute. So him and adorable of Heimlich from Bugs Life. This order is going for $18.90 plus shipping. And we thank you for watching and enjoying the nonsense we put out there, Patrick. Thank you very much. Um, you're awesome. We appreciate that. And then I also have two Winnie the Pooh pins. I have a Pooh and an Eeyore pin. These sold for $29.90. Great, we sold some more magic cards. So I have three of the Secret Lair Angels Commander deck Brunella, Brunella the Fading Light, and three Gisela the Broken Blade. Uh, these all sold to one buyer, so we bought a set, two and two, or three and three of the two different uh, angels. Um, that order was $143.70. So, and actually, what's funny is this is a re repeat buyer. He has bought other sets of these in the past. So I guess he's trying to corner the market on the foil angels. Or maybe going to an event and trading with people. That could be. That could be. Yeah, these do make excellent trade bait. Um, okay. Trade bait? I haven't heard that trade term. Bait. I like that. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Captain Rex, toy box figure. Uh, brand new mint, or not mint, but brand new, never played with out of package. He's awesome. He sold for $13.95 plus shipping. I have a teeny tiny Special K box. I remember, <laughs> remember Special K from the 80s? They'd ask, can you pinch an inch? Yes, I can. <laughs> Could you imagine a product coming on TV now going, can you pinch an inch? <laughs> Seriously, can you imagine that? No. No. But anyway, Special K. Teeny tiny box. Oh, this is, a, you know what? I don't know who bought this, but they're a genius. This is probably a prepper. Hmm. And you, imagine how many of these you could fit in a very small place in case supply lines get cut off or the economy goes south or something. They have they could have a whole stock of food. Yeah. Imaginary food, but still food. <laughs> did, did you want to tell your little story? <laughs> yes, I, I will now that you bring it up. So this was $1.95 plus shipping, probably the cheapest thing that we have. Um, Shipping is actually three times as much on this. So that's a good reason. Always combine shipping. Um, you know, if you order one of these, the shipping is a killer. But if you ordered 15 of these little guys, all of a sudden you're still only paying $6 shipping. And the shipping is kind of inconsequential at that point. Well, and that's that's with us. With us. That's not with other sellers. I don't know what they With do. any seller on eBay. <laughs> but like that order for seven figures and everything that we showed you, that was still yeah. only $6 shipping. That's right. That's right. So, um, so we actually... Remember the, the yeah. Shopkin you showed a few minutes ago? Yeah, the Shopkin. The, if, in case you couldn't remember. <laughs> um, we sold a Shopkin's mini brand. It was a Hebrew National uh, uh, hot dog, or Frank's, package. So it, it, it looks just like the Hebrew National thing you'll see on the shelf. Except for it says, real tiny, like, Shopkin's. Now, the package is this size right here. But on the eBay screen, it's, it, it's a lot bigger. And again, you can see Shopkin's on it. And we we sold one. We and shipped it was it out. listed as a Shopkins miniature toy. Yeah, listed in the toy category and everything else. Unfortunately, it was purchased by a lady who, for whatever reason, thought that she was getting the actual pack of, of Hebrew National Franks. <laughs> Why you would order those off the Across in, country in yeah, the middle of summer. Is, is beyond me, but that's what she thought. And we went back and forth talking about it. Um, yeah, Paul yeah. and I just laughed about there it a lot after so the fact. So much confusion. Yeah. With that. Anyway, um, so always make sure that, you know, that, that you're buying human-sized stuff. <laughs> because Shannon has sold doll clothes that it, it happens so rarely we honestly forget about it. Because we send out, you know, th a thousand orders, over a thousand orders in a month. Maybe. And we get a couple of these kind of things a year. So as a percentage, it's almost inconsequential, but it does happen. So anyway, special K. Can you pinch an inch? I sure can. After COVID. Before COVID, not so much. But. 
I'm teasing. <laughs> Last thing for me today is another Magic the Gathering card. This is uh, from Secret Lair, the 30th anniversary. Uh, this is Emery Lurker of the Lock. Kind of a weird looking artwork for it. I wish, I wish it looked better because it's an awesome card. Um, this sold for $4.95 free shipping. I'm going to share the last few orders for this video. <laughs> Sorry if you're hearing noise from the fans and if my hair is blowing. I got hot. I'm just going to say something really quick. Paul and I gave up sugar two and a half months ago now. And we've had a couple. Like we went on vacation and we had some dessert. But today I conned him into getting me an ice cream from Culver's and it had the M&M's in it. And I will tell you what, I am buzzing. <laughs> like, I don't know if you've seen Seinfeld with Kramer when he like drinks too much coffee. I feel like that right now. I need to calm down, <laughs> center myself. Okay, Paul's laughing. He's like, see, you shouldn't have had the ice cream. <laughs> I shouldn't have had the ice cream. Next time I want an ice cream, Paul, play this video back for me. <laughs> You're not going to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and say you shouldn't have had the ice cream. Okay, let's talk about an owl. This is a cute little owl. It is a Lala Loopsy Minis owl. It's like one of the pets that go with the dolls. This sold for $2.99. We have another puppy in my pocket. We have been having a run on puppy in my pocket kitty in my pocket and barbie pets i don't know why but this little schnauzer was 5.95 again most of my stuff if not all is plus shipping some of my stuff was plus shipping today i know you did so good okay the viewers like or not the viewers the buyers like you better because you do free shipping <laughs> next up we have two figures they're both upside down in here we have this awesome Tokidoki Unicorno from the After Dark series. It's a little ghost. He has a pumpkin. This was, I think this was my favorite in the video, but I absolutely love this one. And then we have a, I'm looking at it. It's a Demu. No one's going to sleep tonight. Is that yeah. the series it was from? That's right. Okay. Um, so two figures sold for $59.90. They're getting ready for Halloween. These are both very ghosty figures and then one more tokidoki unicorno again i think from the after dark series uh, that's a brand new series for tokidoki this one is amazing too it's hot pink it's a little witch it's called love potion and it sold for 24.95 oh and i guess i'm finishing up here so i don't know paul if you had anything you wanted to say please go ahead and jump in yep there's no such thing as free shipping even though I might offer free shipping on a lot of my products, shipping's included in the purchase price. That is true. So a lot, of, Shannon lists a lot of really small things and she is able to actually list the item for cheaper because she knows she's charging shipping on top of the item price. Right. If I do free shipping and people buy multiple things, then they actually end up losing out because they're paying shipping several times. That is true. That is true. Okay. Um, I think that's it. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up and get these things shipped out so they can be on their way to our customers. We hope you guys are enjoying the seven videos a week. I was going to say seven videos a day. We're not there yet. Between the channels we have right now, we're up to three videos a day. And if we start that doll channel, well, <laughs> I don't know where we're going to have the time to handle it all, but we'll find out. Maybe I need more sugar. We'll see. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you have a great day. Bye.